Imagine it's a beautiful Sunday morning and you're with your grandma on your way to church, as usual, as you would do on a Sunday as a kid. And you get to the church and you start mass and everything's great and all, and then of course as usual they send out the basket for the offerings. And as your grandma gives you a dollar to put in the basket, you are very excited to help the church out with anything they need. So you put the dollar in the basket and they take it away. There you go, there's your excellent donation to the church. Well, imagine that donation actually was not going to fund the church. It was actually going to some priest's fund for in-game mobile app purchases. Yes, I have a very crazy story for you guys today. You're going to want to stick around for this one. Don't go away. So as I was looking on Twitter and I found this recent article that said Pennsylvania priest charged for misusing $41,000 in church funds on mobile games. And I was like, whoa, that is insane. I can't even imagine uh, $100 being used on a mobile game by a, by any, by, by a priest uh, in, of a Catholic church, let alone $41,000. You know, $41,000 is like a lot of money, guys. It's like the, like the average, it, it was, it was like the average, well, it is the average salary in Japan right now. And uh, it was the average salary in the US for quite some time. And it still is for like lower middle class. So yeah, let's just check out what this article has to say, because I thought it was crazy with that title, man. So Father Lawrence Kozak, a priest from Thomas More Parish in Pottstown, Pot, Pottstown? Uh, Pennsylvania faces criminal charges for misappropriating over $41,000 of parish funds to finance his mobile game addiction. Yes, apparently he has a game addiction, which, yeah, it's pretty obvious if you're spending $41,000 on it. According to an affidavit, Kozak utilized the parish credit cards to make thousands of purchases on games such as Candy Crush. Oh, there we go. It's a, always a big popular one. Pokemon Go, of course. Oh, and Mario Kart Tour. <laughs> So how did this investigation start, you may ask? Well, I'll tell you, the investigation into this spending habits began when an accountant noticed an astronomical, in quotes, astronomical amount of Apple transactions on the parish's credit card statements. That's insane. Imagine you're, uh, you know, you're the accountant for the church and you, you know, you get the credit card statements and you're expecting there to be like, you know, maybe a couple thousand dollars of purchases to to renovate like pews and and other stuff inside the church or go to some kind of charity or something like that um you're not expecting a, a forty one thousand dollar credit card bill for uh, in-app mobile game in-app purchases <laughs> i'm pretty sure you're not going to expect that so that'll be a shocker for sure so when I was looking at some other sources, because I want to get another point of view, I went to CBS News and found this article very similar to the story that we found on the other article. And this said that in a criminal complaint and an affidavit of probable cause, alleged Lawrence Kozak, a former pastor of St. Moore Parish in Pottstown, spent over $214,000 on his Apple ID. And that just under $44,000, which we read in the article, $41,000 of that was charged to the credit card associated with the parish. Not only $41,000 on the parish's credit card, he spent almost, well, he spent over 200K on his own card. Like, dude, where is this guy getting all this money? He's a priest. How does he have all this money? I'm very confused. It's insane how much money he has. Like. Well, he must, he probably doesn't have it. He's probably in debt or something. This guy is insane. There was like, there was over 2000 transactions marked as gaming <laughs> in the document. So like, imagine you get on your credit card statement. It's like 2000 transactions of just gaming, gaming, gaming. <laughs> Can you imagine? Like, dude, that's insane. Just on, you know, like imagine like all the funds, like everybody that participates, you know, you're participating in the, the mass every Sunday. And then all that, all that donation that you always put in the basket, you think you're, it's just crazy, man. You think it's going to like help the church out or a, or a charity or something, but no, it's going to some unhinged, insane, degenerate priests pocket so they can pay for uh, upgrades and lives in a mobile game like Candy Crush. It's a crazy dude. Uh, for those of you who are wondering, by the way, uh, Candy Crush has an in-game currency, which is gold uh, gold or gold bars. Uh, and uh, it only has one currency, that's the gold bars. And the gold bars can be purchased with real money. 
uh, or it can be earned through events. And what they're used for is lives, uh, boosters, and moves. And so that's just an example of what the priest probably paid for. He's paid for gold bars. So I can, we can actually see a breakdown of how much a gold bar costs. So basically a gold bar of 10, like amount of 10 gold bars is about $3. And it goes all the way up to a thousand gold bars for $130. Now, can you imagine if this is the max, a thousand gold bars for $130 and he spent probably, well, he was using uh, the money for other apps as well, but just in Candy Crush alone, let's say $10,000. Divide that, do the math. That's, is, that's like hundreds of thousands of gold bars, man. Like, was this guy like, is he just really bad at the game? Is there, is there a skill issue? Like he's losing so many lives that he has to buy 100,000 uh, gold bars to revive himself? Like, what is this guy's problem? Is he just bad at game? So what gold bars essentially do is they uh, buy boosters during the game or get the game or to buy uh, extra moves uh, for that moment uh, when you just needed uh, one or two moves. So yeah, it can be used for a lot of stuff, but mostly it's like just to get ahead or you know upgrade or increase your power level. So going back to the article, we, we can see here that uh, in an interview with the investigating uh, detective, uh, Kozak, the priest, uh, reportedly described spending money on his slot apps like Candy Crush, not as gambling, but rather as powering up. <laughs> so this guy was, speaking of powering up, which I mentioned before, this guy was trying to get his power level to over 9,000 by buying a bunch of gold bars in Candy Crush, but use, uh, with the money that he got from, well, not his, his, own, his own money, 200K of his own money, plus almost 50K of parish funds. That's insane, man. Not only this, but apparently his his uh, the parish card was also used for gifts for his goddaughter, like an Amazon Fire tablet and a chemistry set. Like, dude, this guy was just going ham with the parish credit card, dude. Like, how is this how is this even possible? I don't know how this can be even possible. So on you Catholics website, they said during the interaction with the police, the priest admitted to his gambling habits, saying that he had both his personal bank card and the parish credit card linked to his iPhone for legitimate expenses before the mix-up occurred. Oh yeah, the mix-up, we'll, we'll call it the mix-up. He also told investigators that he wasn't paying any attention and should have been. Oh, that's great, you, you, okay, that's okay, we forgive you. $41,000 because uh, you know you, you have an addiction to gambling and uh, you, you, you weren't paying attention, that's okay. We'll, we'll give you a pass, you, you couldn't continue to. Uh, link the parish cards to your to, to your iPhone for legitimate expenses. Hell no! Are you kidding me? You can't do that. What? <laughs> you gotta get out of here, man. You're insane. What the fuck? So uh, this has happened pretty recently. So not much has occurred since then, apparently. But uh, his case continues as he faces the charges of theft and related crimes. So he remains on administrative leave pending the outcome of the criminal prosecution with the Archdiocese of Philadelphia and the parish cooperating with the ongoing investigations. So this guy, although nothing has happened so far, uh, really, uh, he's still in very hot water with the Archdiocese of Philadelphia and the law. Uh, so man, this guy needs to, like seriously, he, ne he needs to like, he probably needs to do jail time or he needs to give all that money back to the parish because that's that is just like, unholy <laughs> no pun intended i guess but so this is related back to the intro um i i was raised and born and raised catholic and i went to mass uh, every sunday pretty much when i was a kid and uh during the mass uh they would give the baskets baskets out uh for donations and offerings uh, they call them in the in the catholic church uh which i would always give my dad would give me a dollar and i'd give it put it in the basket or whatever and I, that made me happy i was like oh this is great i'm, I'm helping somebody out so I can't imagine like, you know, if I'm like a 10 year old kid at the time and I'm literally giving a dollar, what is it like three? Imagine I, I went to mass three times, I gave three dollars and then the priest of that church used that three dollars to buy 10 gold cards, uh, 10 gold bars in Candy Crush for his gambling uh, addiction, game gaming gambling addiction. I would be outraged, man. I think my dad would be even more outraged though. Uh, yeah, that's pretty. It's pretty low. It's pretty low you sh uh, to do that uh, as a as a priest of a Catholic church. It's insane, man. The guy's unhinged, and, and needs justice needs to be handed down. Anyway, I just saw that uh, article, and I thought that was really interesting. I wanted to share it with you guys, so I made a video about it. <laughs> um, oh yeah. So also, uh, your boy, 
recently got a thousand subscribers. So uh, what I did was I set up memberships and there's also super chats, a uh, super thanks and all the super stuff. Yes. So yeah, if you're interested, uh, if you like the channel, uh, always uh, thank you guys for watching and make sure to smash that like button and hit subscribe. And uh, if you're interested, uh, we do have membership options now. There's a join button on the desktop version. If you're on the mobile, uh, mobile for some reason the iPhone doesn't show the button, the join button. So you have to click link, uh, links, expand the links, and it's become a members there. If you want, uh, there's a member video out I, I put out recently. If you want to check out the ad for it, uh, it's really cool. A lot of perks. Uh, for example, level one, you get uh, loyalty badges and custom emojis and you get prioritized responses from me during live streams as a member. I will prioritize you first. Be a member! See ya!